Society is one big contradiction. Left and right, images of what a female is supposed to look like and act like are being thrown out. Skinny, big breast, short skirt, low shirt, but not too short and not too low. She was asking for it. But how do you know? You're implying that she left the house in that skirt because she wanted to be sexually assaulted? Did she have please rape me tattooed across her forehead? 80% of rapes are done by someone the survivor knows. Should she not have worn that dress around her stepdad or her friend or her coach? They say you can prevent a rape. Use the buddy system, watch your drink, hold your keys, pepper spray, but say what you may, a sexual assault can be prevented in only one way. Don't rape people. She was raped. One action swept the power and control out of her life and now she is alone, alienated, betrayed. She trusts you and goes to you. And what do you say? Why did you stay? Love, hope, and fear lay like a blanket over her conscience. The power and control wheel grips onto her and leads her into a downward spiral. What if her assailant was her only source of income? When she leaves, where does she go? This life she's been living is the only one she knows. We live in a patriarchal society that spits out the stereotypes that we know as male privilege. And stereotypes are only broken in one way, through society, us. Our ignorance makes our society the slowly festering rape culture that it is. 95% of the time, survivors of sexual assault are female, so it's easy to forget about the 5% that are male. But that they are forgotten, our efforts to help survivors would fail. Regardless of gender, survivors need to be supported. Rape occurs despite of race or gender identification, and that's a vision that has been distorted. Being a feminist doesn't mean that you think all men are rapists or all men are evil. It means that you want to live in a society where everyone is treated equal. Why haven't you called the police? 60% of rapes go unreported, and out of the ones that do, there's a 3% conviction rate. Is it worth going to court and losing? Is she strong enough to accept the judge's ruling? Once you hear it over and over again, you start to believe it. She was drunk. Her dress is too short. It wasn't rape. So you never deal with or report the assault. Justice isn't served, a criminal is let loose, and a survivor is sent back into the world that she was once happy in. But this incident stole her innocence, and now she is broken. This was not her fault. It was not her fate. She can overcome this, and she can achieve something great. We can achieve something great. We can end victim blaming. Her short dress was not an invitation to rape her. She didn't ask for her drink to be spiked. It's not her fault so much you trusted turned on her, and damn it, Robin Thicke, you don't know she wants it, because she doesn't. If she wants it, she'll tell you. I want to have sex. And that, my friends, is consent. How do you have the audacity to tell her that an assault was her fault, that she wanted to be attacked, that she was asking for it? Survivors of sexual assault deserve consideration. So yes, this is a plea because I need you to see that it was never her fault. She needs you, I need you, and the future of society needs you to just believe. Thank you.